Hi everyone, I've got an unboxing to do today. I've actually had it, I think around a week, but I really wanted to do um, a video to show you all because it's my first Hermes um, item that I've ever bought. So I thought I'd share it with you all. Um, I don't know if you've seen my video, but I got my pochette Mati in the Empreinte leather last week and I absolutely in love with this bag that like I've, I I just love it to bits it's so much more than I ever expected it to be and I'm just so pleased with it but I thought you see a lot on the um, monogram pochette mati obviously the handle here is made of um, fachetta leather so lots of people wrap the bandos or the twillies around the handle to stop it getting marked you know water spots or hand marks on it and I just thought even though I don't need it to protect the leather because it's black obviously I just love the look of it like the pop of colour and just that you can change it up whenever you like so I already owned this one from Louis Vuitton this is the monogram uh, jungle bando I believe this was limited edition from summer last year it's just got the monogram with this pink and red like jungle palm print over the top and I really really love this but when I tried it on this bag it was just too long when you tied it off at, at, um, with the knots at the end there was like too much overhang at the end it was kind of like like that and it looked okay but I know that lots of people have been using the Hermes Twillies because they're shorter so I thought why not try one of those I've been wanting to try something from Hermes for forever and a day anyway so it was a nice small thing uh, that I could try and it would work with my new bag so as I say I've had this for about a week I wanted to do an unboxing I've already cut the bag open so it came like this sorry about this terrible angle I haven't done videos in such a long time and I feel like such an amateur but I'm going to do my best. So it came with um, this little note. This is just one of those ones that you get from like Louis Vuitton and that. That you can write your own note in. I haven't written anything in it. But because it was my first purchase from Hermes. I wanted everything that I could get that came with it. So that's just the cute little note that you get with it. So this is the receipt. I've just folded my address over at the top there. Uh, let me see if I can... There's the details. So this is the Savannah Dance Twilly. Uh, made from silk. 86 by 5 centimetres. Um, and I believe that's the product code. H062988S04. Um but I'll put that in the description box as well in case you can't see it there um, and this was doesn't say on here but it was £125 and I think the shipping was free so here's the box it came in okay. there we go and here it is, my first little orange package, the gorgeous brown ribbon, so
And here we are, this is the one that I chose. So this one has the monkey on one side with some flowers. And on this end, there is a leopard. I didn't even know this had a leopard on it. That didn't show that on the uh, website. That just showed the monkey. Oh, that's even better. I love it. And then on this side, there's just some circles, a feather, and then some flowers on the very tips. So there we are. It's my new Twilly. I love the colours of this one. I thought it would just go so beautifully with my new bag. Um, oh, there we are. Oh my god, so sorry about my dog snoring. I cannot get my dogs to stop snoring. They snore even when they're awake. And I would shut them out of the room while, while I'm filming, but they will try and take the door down. So I either have them barking at the door or I have them in the room with me snoring while they're awake. So I do apologise. I just don't know what to do with them. So um, anyway, back to the Twilly. Here we are with it on my bag. Um, I am going to obviously tie it around the handle, but I'm not going to film that because it's probably going to be a hot mess. I've ne uh, uh, yeah, It's not going to go well, so I'm just going to make a fool of myself if I try and do it on camera. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and get it tied on and then I'll take some pictures and I'll insert them at the end. So there we go. That's my new Twilly. And I think that is gorgeous and it goes so well with the black on the bag. So there we go. Oh, also, um, I don't know how I'm going to... I will show you a size comparison of the... the uh, Bando, the Louis Vuitton Bando and the Twilly, but obviously I can't do it very well from this angle. So I can just show you, like, there's the end of the Twilly and there's the end of the Bando. So there is a massive difference and it's also a lot thinner. But I will, I'll take some pictures because it'll be easier for me to show you that way. So, yeah, there we go. That's my new Twilly which will be going on my gorgeous bag. And um, thank you for watching. Sorry about the dog snoring again. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just thought I'd insert this clip in at the end. I've just put the uh, Louis Vuitton Badeau on the bag to show you what that one looks like. Now, I'm no expert at tying these up at all, but I don't think that looks too, too bad. But you see, there's... It, it bunches up quite a lot around the handle because there's so much material going around and you are left with these slightly longer bits on the end but I mean some people like that look I, I think it looks cute it, it's it's fine um, so there you go that's what it looks like with the bando and now I'm going to attempt the Twilly. And here we are with the Twilly. This one was a little bit tricky to get on because I had to have it always the same way round um, just to get the colours that I wanted and to try and get the animals on the top as well. So I managed to get the little monkey on this end but the leopard is somewhere hiding underneath. But I still think it looks gorgeous and I can turn it over if I want to have a different like colourway because the other side's mostly blue and green so I think that looks really good, I'm really pleased with it.